Let's do our warm ups and mm, some hip related things today again. So shoulders back and down, spread your toes, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up, reach your crown toward the ceiling and your sitting bones toward the floor. Get that core supporting your spine, so ribs toward your spine and up toward your heart. And then shoulders just relaxing down. Spread your toes, get the balls of the foot area connected, not the toes themselves. Spread your toes out. Take a few breaths. Focusing inward. And then inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level and stretch the fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front, keeping your shoulders down. And then clasp your hands behind you. Press the fingers toward the floor. Lift your heart. Stretch your head back. And don't forget to breathe. And then on an exhalation, pivot over at your hips into that forward position as deeply as you'd like to go. Hands up toward the ceiling and head down toward your legs. Take a few breaths there, just relax, lifting your sitting bones, letting those legs get a little stretch. Move your chin around, release that neck tension. And then slightly bend your knees, start at the bottom of your spine and just roll your way all the way up into the back bend one more time. So head back, chest high, shoulders down, and lifting with that heart. On an inhalation, come on upright and release. Take a moment, just to feel your spine getting activated. And again, inhaling, reaching out, exhaling to your heart, stretch to the front, shoulders down. And clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So shift the fingers in one position over. Again, stretch into the back bend, lifting your heart. Exhale, pivoting over. And just let everything relax as you get deep into that position as much as you'd like. Take a few breaths. Lift the sitting bones. Bring the hands toward your head even more. And then again, with that chin slightly in, work your way back up into another back bend. Stretch into it and relax. Keep breathing. Inhale upright, release your arms, and just take a moment again, feeling that energy warming you up. Side stretches next, let's bring the arms out, palms toward the ceiling, and hands above your shoulders. Pass the hands and clasp them. Bring the arms back by your ears. Spread your toes. Stretch everything straight. Keep facing the front and lean to the side. Stretch out. Keep breathing. Push the foot you're leaning away from down for that rib stretch. And just feel that lateral motion to your spine, moving you sideways. Inhale back upright, keep the shoulders down and bring the other hand to the front. And again, arms by your ears and everything straightening, leaning to the other side. Again, maximize that side. Make sure you're not leaning forward. You want that whole side to be opening. Take a breath or two. And on an inhalation, again, come upright, bring the shoulders, arms out and down. Circle the shoulders a couple of times to the back. Let that whole shoulder area release. And then we'll stretch the spine apart for our twist. So base of the skull, base of the spine, stretch apart the whole time. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows and bring your arms again by your ears. Sitting bones down, skull up, and exhale to twist. Keep the weight on both feet as much as you can as you exhale over. Deepen into that twist position forward. Pivot and relax. Lift your sitting bones maybe. Keep the arms by your ears. Feel what's going on, how things may shift. And then staying in your twist, work your way up. And go only into the upper body for your back bend while you're twisted. So no pressure in that lower back. Take a breath or two, lifting your heart. 
Inhale, upright, exhale around to the center, switching your arms one more time for balance. And again, stretch everything out as you twist to the opposite side. Take a breath, exhale, over. And again, keep the weight on both feet as much as you can, deep in as far as you'd like. Keep your arms next to your ears, lift your sitting bones, see how that weight is distributed on your feet. And then in the twist, inhaling, we'll work your way up into that back bend of the upper back. Chest high, shoulders down. Take a moment to breathe as you push the elbows back of the way. And once more, inhale upright, exhale around to the center. Keep your shoulders down, extend your fingertips up toward the ceiling, spread your toes out. And then turn your palms out, coming to shoulder level, pivot at your hips again, chest leading, stretch out through the top of your head and the sitting bones, and then drop into ragdoll, just hang. Take a moment and breathe there, or pull in deeper with your hands behind your legs. Take a breath or two, exhaling tension. And arms back to the front, inhaling, slowly working your way all the way up, shoulders back and down, and again, into mountain pose. Feel your body a little bit more warmed up as we get ready to go high for a pivot forward. So get your thumbs into that crease at the top of your thighs, and we're going to pivot, leading with your heart. Keep your spine straight and let your body come all the way into that forward position as far as it likes. Parallel to the floor, maybe even a little deeper, lifting your sitting bones. Spread your toes. Get the weight even into both feet. Take a moment to breathe. Exhale, release your hands down toward your ankles. And you can stay there, crossing the hands into the shins and stretching sitting bones and crown away from each other. Lengthen through the whole spine. And then inhaling, excuse me, pivot back up and feel your body. Keep your feet where they are and let your shoulders relax. Keep that core activated, and we're going to do some work with the standing position. So the first thing we're going to do is go into warrior one. So warrior one is the warrior where you do turn to the side as you move your feet. So remember, you want to keep the hips even as much as you can. So we're gonna turn the one foot 90 degrees first, and then the heel back, and toes forward on the foot behind you, just like always. But this time we're pulling that back hip around and the front hip back so that you're facing that front foot. So the side of your foot is parallel to the mat and both hips are facing forward along the edge of the mat. And then we're gonna bring the arms out to shoulder level, turn the palms up, clasp your hands overhead, and steeple the fingers. Shoulder, shoulder blades down, arms next to your ears. And then bend your front knee right above your ankle. You want to remember, see the big toe, not all the toes. And you don't want to slide that leg either out to the side or in toward the middle. Sink evenly into both feet so that back foot has as much pressure into it as the front foot. And the further apart your legs are, the deeper you can sink into that warrior position. So shoulders both facing toward the side. And lift your heart a little bit, looking up. Keep stretching through the back of the neck as you pull the fingers slightly back behind you. A little upper body back bend as you sink those hips straight down. Take a breath or two, really push into that back outside of the foot behind you. Exhale and relax, well, as much as you can. And then inhale upright, bring your hands to your heart, releasing your hands, straightening your knees, and turning to the front. So take a moment, core is activated in warriors. 
So you'll feel a little heat building there. And of course, we're going to warrior one to the other side as well. So just sink evenly into your feet. Get those sitting bones down, that core working, the shoulders back and down. Remember, you want everything nicely aligned as we start. Turn the other foot all the way to the side. Heel back, toes forward, and pull the back hip all the way around. Front hip pulls back. Back hip pulls forward. Those hip bones want to be about even as you get into your final position. Sink way into that little toe back side of your foot behind you so that both feet are supporting you evenly. And again, arms out to the side. Keep the shoulders down. Palms toward the ceiling. Clasp the hands the opposite way above and steeple the fingers. So shift the fingers to one position from your habitual clasp. And then again, bending your knee right above the ankle. Make sure you can see your big toe and not the little ones. Spread the toes, sink evenly into both feet. So really keep pushing into that back foot. Keep the back hip turning forward and that front hip pulling back. Sink a little deeper if you like. Pull those shoulder, shoulder blades down. And then lift the heart, looking slightly overhead, coming into just a little back bend as you're in that warrior position. Take a breath or two. Sink evenly into your feet. Feel as stable as you can. And don't forget to breathe. And then coming upright, release your arms. Back to your side, straightening your knee, turning to the front. As you get back into your wide-legged position, just take a moment and breathe. And again, bring your thumbs to the hip crease. Push the sitting bones slightly back. Lead with your heart, pivoting forward. Slide your hands down onto your shins, your ankles, wherever they feel comfortable, or drop your hands to the mat under your shoulders. We're going to do a twist. So stretch your spine apart. So if your fingers don't reach the floor, remember you can put blocks or books under you to raise the floor, or you can just keep your hands on your legs. So take a moment there, spread your toes, press the sitting bones and crown away from each other, nice parallel to the floor body. And then keeping your right hand on your leg or the floor, bring the left hand over to the side and look at it. Keep stretching the spine apart for the twist as you turn your whole body, looking hips, ribs, and shoulder toward the side as you look up toward the hand going into the air. So get as deep into that twist as feels right for you. Take a breath, stretching things apart, deepening the twist, loving it or not going only where your body needs. Stretching the spine apart, letting the twist happen, not forcing anything. And then following the hand back down, exhale and release, hands to the floor or on your legs. And again, stretch the spine apart, just feel all that twist energy through you as we get ready to twist, yeah, to the other side. Left hand stays down, spine stretches apart, and bring the right hand over to the side, palm toward the floor as you start, and then open to the side as you turn your whole body looking up toward that hand. So remember, hips, ribs, shoulder, everything are turning into your twist as you sink evenly into both feet and stretch the sitting bones and crown away from each other opening that spine for the twist. Take a breath, deepen as much as you like. You can go further than straight up and down if you love it, or you can go less than straight up and down if your spine doesn't want to deeply twist. Take a breath, stretch it out, and then as you exhale again, follow the hand back to the floor or your legs. And again, stretch things long, Exhaling, deepen and pivot maybe a little bit further into that forward position. You can bring your hands behind your feet, fingertips turning back if you want to walk them a little further into that pivot. And of course, if you've got really stretched out hamstrings, 
You can go deeper with your head toward the floor, but keep your spine straight. And then release your hands to your ankles. And again, spine straight as you slide back up into your wide-legged position. Take a moment there, feel your body more energized once again. And we're gonna do one more standing posture from this position. And again, we're going to be turning the whole body to the side, this one's called pyramid. So again, spread your toes out, sink evenly into both feet, keep your core activated, supporting your spine, everything nice and straight. And we're turning our feet in our usual position. So first foot all the way to the side, back foot, heel, back toes forward, get into both feet evenly. So that little toe side of the back foot gets as much weight into it as the front leg does. Pivoting again, hip coming back and back hip coming forward. So you're straight and stretched out. And then we're gonna take the hands and either clasp your forearms behind your lower back or bring the hands into reverse prayer positions. So That's prayer position between your shoulder blades. You can take those fingertips to your waist and then push them up toward the middle of your back if that works for you. Otherwise, just clasp the elbows. Keep the back hip coming forward, the front hip coming back, spread the toes, get the base of the toes, follow the foot area and heel evenly sinking down. And then pivot at that hip joint at the front of your thigh and bring your body as straight as you can, forward as much as parallel to the floor. So keep the hips even, keep the spine straight, Keep the sitting bones moving back behind you and the crown forward. Everything stretching apart as you come into that pivot in pyramid. Legs are straight, so keep those kneecaps going toward your thigh, front of the thighs tightening a little bit to keep those hamstrings on the back of your leg nicely stretched open. And oh yeah, don't forget to breathe. And then when you're ready, straighten your spine. If it isn't, leave with your back of your head coming up. And release your arms. Turn your feet to the front. Back into our starting position. Shoulders back and down. Core still activated. And spine stretching apart. Spread those toes out. Find your position as we get ready to yeah, balance our body going the opposite direction. So once again, sink evenly into the ball of the foot, base of the toe area and heels, spreading the toes, no gripping with your toes, core active, shoulders back and down, crown reaching up, sitting bones down, and turn your other foot all the way to the side. So that whole leg turns, remember, the knee is still going toward your second toe when you turn that leg. Heel back, toes forward, and again, the whole leg is turning. So your knee and toes always go in the same direction. Back hip pulling around forward, and front hip pulling back as you turn toward the side. Spread your toes on both legs, and sink evenly into the base of the toe, and heel evenly. Really keep the weight into both feet as you bring your hands into position. So either crossing your arms the opposite way from what you did before, or reverse prayer again with those fingertips up between your shoulder blades as much as they'll go. Take a breath, sink the shoulders, sink into both feet evenly. Keep the hips even facing the front, shoulders even facing the front as you pull the front hip back and the back hip forward and pivot it, that hip joint at the top of the thigh. Again, bringing your body parallel to the floor or wherever you go. Take a moment and breathe. Remember those of you who are flexible can go even further, lifting those sitting bones and pivoting deeper. Or if you're not that flexible, you may not make it to parallel to the floor. That's okay, too. Do what's right for your body because yoga is always a personal practice. Stretching your spine, sinking evenly into your feet, 
really pressing into that back leg, making sure those knees are as straight as they can be. Take a breath and lengthen, and on an inhalation, pivot on back up, releasing your hands, turning your feet forward, back into mountain pose. So come on back into your starting position. Feel your body a little bit more activated throughout. Bring your hands to your heart. Inhale and bring them toward the ceiling. A nice little back bend, lifting your heart, looking at your thumbs, and exhaling, hands to your heart, pivoting all the way over into the wall. Slide your hands up under your knees for your halfway up stretch. And then exhaling, bend your knees, coming to our mat for child pose transition. Hands next to your feet, forehead down. Feel those hips release. Feel those shoulders relax. And let the spine just round forward as you bring your forehead down to the floor or toward the floor. Take a breath. Just relax. And then on an inhalation, come on back up, slide off your feet, and bring your feet to the end of the mat. Staff position, activate your core, shoulders above your hips, press out through your heels, toes pulling back as you slowly roll all the way to the mat. As you get all the way down, just take a moment, shoulders relaxing down, feet about hip width apart, and let that lower back relax. Bring your arms out to T position. Let's keep the palms up today. And slide your sitting bones slightly towards your heel. Press the back gently down. Bend your left right knee. Put the foot on the left side. So we're going to be rolling all the way to the left side for our twist. Bring your knee to the floor. Your hands together. Keep your head down. Remember, don't overwork your neck as you roll. Get all the way onto your left side and hold your left hand on your right knee, keeping it on the floor for that lower back twist. Or be gentle if you need to using a pillow. Bring your right hand above your shoulder. Keep the palm open toward the ceiling and lower the hand right at shoulder level behind you toward the floor. It may not make it to the floor. That's okay. Just go as deeply as you need to and want to. Remember, personal practice for the twist. Turning your head for your neck area, hand going toward the floor as far as gravity wants to bring you, and then breathing, exhaling and relaxing, letting the ligaments release, maybe going deeper when you're ready. Be on the floor or not, depending on how much lower that twist you like. And of course, hold your twist longer on your own. But for right now, just let go of your knee, roll onto your back, slide the foot near the other one, back into your starting T position so that we can get ready and twist to the other side. Deep breath in, exhale, just relax your shoulders down, keep your hands, palms up, and again, Sitting bones towards your heels, back pressing gently down, right, left foot to the right thigh, and rolling to the right. So knee coming all the way down, hands together in front of you, keep that head down so that the neck doesn't overlook. Hand on your knee to keep the knee down, and the left hand to the ceiling. Follow the hand behind you as it works you into your twist. Remember, the hand may stay in the air. That's perfectly okay. It doesn't need to make it to the floor if it doesn't want to go. Exhale. As you do, ligaments will release and gravity may bring you deeper into your twist if you're ready. But let your body decide that. Don't force it. Knee down for your lower back twist. Head turn for your neck area twist. And hand coming toward the floor into your middle back twist. Keep that shoulder heart area nice and open. And don't forget to keep breathing and relaxing. Just let everything release into your twist as much or as little as you need today. And as you exhale, just relax, letting go of your leg and rolling onto your back. 
Slide your foot near the other one. Bring your hands near your hips. Turn them palms up. Let those shoulders sink into the floor. And your toes turn toward each other. And then just release. Exhaling, let your body sink in corpse position. Deepening into that earthbound embrace. Letting your body go. Scan through, find any tightness anywhere in your core, in your spine, in your shoulders. We'll let them all relax. Stretch through the back of the legs as well. So just let the legs release any tightness. Soften your face and your jaw. And let your body just sink deeper into the earth support. Letting it go completely, just relaxing. And as your body relaxes, just allow your awareness of your body to release. And as those thoughts release, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. Know that it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. So let the thoughts drift in and out without awareness. No need to think of the past or anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts drift away as easily as your breath without attention. And as the thoughts flow easier in and out, let your body soften and sink. Let your mind float and drift. And allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Turn that focus inward to the peace within. Fill yourself with peace. Body, mind, being, peace. And of course, keep relaxing as long as you have time today. Or if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels right for you today. Breathing and stretching more completely as you become ready. And when you're ready for that, Final yoga hug of appreciation. Bring your sitting bones toward your heels, back gently down. Bring your heels up toward your hips and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around however feels right for you today. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor. Roll to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.